The new award-winning Northern Irish thriller The Survivalist is now in cinemas. Written and directed by Stephen Fingleton and starring Martin McCann, Alwyn Fuerry and Mia Gott, it's a harrowing but often beautifully shot study of what happens when civilization breaks down and the choices people are forced to make. Ten met the survivalist director and star recently in Dublin and began by asking where the inspiration for the film had come from. I heard of peak oil theory uh, several years ago through a documentary and I thought it was a very convincing uh, explanation for how civilization uh, will rise and, and come into decline. And I began thinking what I would do in circumstances where resources and things like food became scarce. And I created a character, the survivalist, and, and put him in a situation where he finds the whole values of his life tested. Would you be able to spare some of your crop? There's more than enough. You know, there are certain things that he's done that are unforgivable, but he will never forgive himself for doing them, you know. Um, but definitely a good guy. When I read the script, it was certainly one of the best scripts I, I've, I've ever read. And, and Stephen has done a marvelous job in taking that script from, from the page to life. Um, I'm never a great judge at judging my own work. I'll always critique myself. But, uh, but I certainly know that Stephen has made something very, very special here, and he, and he deserves the, the uh, credit he's getting for it. Well, I think when you work with um, an actor like Martin and, uh, and Alwyn and Mia, um, you're really asking them to do things, and you're attempting to convince them of either the right way to do something or you're listening to them and being guided by their decisions. Presenting the story in such a way that it remains suspenseful from beginning to end and you were continually surprised by their actions, um, that was the biggest challenge. And the characters are like, um, they're almost like onions and we're peeling, peeling them away skin by skin by skin. So you, you, you didn't have room to show the scope of the world, but you could show the depth um, of, of how it's impacted these characters through the desperate decisions they make. She likes you. Do you like her? <laughs> this was definitely the toughest shoot I've done uh, because of the dieting, you know, they, they'd had me on a strict diet and and the subject matter is never easy, you know. I mean, I, you know, to create that intensity and that, you know, that that situation and that, that environment through, through, through the scenes that Stephen's written, it can be it can be a challenge, especially if you're tired and you're hungry and all you want to do is sit down and have a biscuit in a hotel, but you can't. You're in a cabin. It's cold. It's dark. It's damp. Help me! One of the ways I'm optimistic about the future is. I don't need to have a future with, with human beings in it for me to feel um, like um, you know the environment uh, needs to be supported by us or anything like that. The ecology will continue to live. Here's a film made um, about a time when there is nothing and resources are low. But uh, the interesting thing is that you need a lot of resources to make a film like this, even even a small film, and that's what it is in, in terms of like you know compared to the Hollywood blockbusters, this is a very small film, certainly financially anyway. And uh, but the the and what I what I what I've taken from it is 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 is, is hope, and we are very resilient uh, as people, as a, as human beings, we're very resilient and we'll find a way. So that's what I'd like to take from it, you know. <laughs>